Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaw here and once again it's time for a bench press day and pretty unhappy with my top set today. Uh, 335 felt like a 2 rep max. Um, again, I kind of feel like I know what's going on with my diet. Uh, I've just got to get more carbs back in it. I've got to go back to just eating fruit even if I don't get enough calories. It doesn't matter because even when I was losing weight doing that, uh, my strength was going up. So interestingly enough, it seems like uh, just fruit calories in general seem to work just amazingly well for my recovery, hydration, everything else. Uh, so I just got to go back to that. It felt really heavy. Uh, the rest of the workout went great. Um, and in keeping with what I've said before, uh, I do got to work a little bit on some of the smaller muscles. That's going to be obvious. Uh, but incline benching. Okay, let's look at what's going on even with the bench there. I worked on JM Press a couple weeks. JM Press got strong putting up pretty, pretty good numbers on JM Press. Pretty much uh, strongest I think I've ever been on it, or close to, real close. And yet the bench isn't going up. So we know that the bench scales with my incline. So I worked incline back in. I was planning on doing it last week, but I kind of took that deload at the end of the week. Um, the rep work uh, went okay here. It went decent. I managed to squeeze out two sets of 10 with 245. Uh, sinking them and i'm sinking these where i need to that was the other problem i ran into when i went for that 335 i really touched it too high up for me personally um, i know that i'm strongest if i touch a little lower down so i've got to get the practice doing that on all the rep work uh, and i need to when i get to those those heavy sets i've got to do that because when i did that that same weight for five reps in the past i was touching it about three inches lower than where i did today okay just, just an FYI. Uh, also worked in the barbell rows again. They're not inflaming my uh, my hip the way they were. Uh, so again, it's just a matter of of uh, being careful how I stand, how my stance is on these. Uh, and again, pretty happy with these today. All right, my back strength is always good. You know, it's always funny. You know, get people who who will they don't ever like the way I perform back work, and then I turn around and people see my back, and it's like. You know, you don't like the way I perform my back work, but my back is bigger than yours. See, kind of see a problem with that. Okay, uh, so on these, I'm going to do with what I've been doing. Um, I'm just going to do my one peak set of bench. I'm going to do two high rep sets. Uh, and I'll adjust weight on these as needed once they start getting above 10 reps again. You know, I'll start adding weight up because I got up to, I think, 255 for 10 back when I was hitting my strongest bench numbers on the peak sets. So need to start working back up towards that. And again, just doing supersets with rows. Uh, but again, the incline, the incline just has such tremendous carryover for me. And where were we? We were hitting 255 for five reps on the incline all post when I was at my strongest on the bench. Uh, and I just have to admit, incline carries over. You know, and a few people ask, why was I doing J on press instead of incline? Because I feel like I can't push two supplemental presses hard. I've got to pick one. So I've got to pick and choose. But, you know, when I looked back, I looked at my diet difference and I was hitting the best sets. I was looking at my training. And for that whole month going into all those PRs, it was incline bench. And I was only doing about two serious work sets on flat bench after my top set. I was focusing really hard on the incline and I was doing skull crushers and stuff. I was also eating a little bit different. I was just force feeding as much fruit as I could get down, hitting my minimum protein. And then, you know, from, from animal source stuff and I was just hammering down fruit all day, watermelon, bananas, cantaloupe, whatever, cherries, and getting uh, at least 60, 70% of my calories from fruit every day. I felt like I had the best hydration, and I think a lot of it is not only the electrolytes, uh, the micronutrients and all that. I think a lot of it had to do with the, really the, uh, the electrolytes, not just the antioxidants and things. You know, the recovery in from the antioxidants matters, but I think I just stayed better hydrated in terms of my muscles, right? I stayed better hydrated, had better overall water balance. I felt like I actually looked a little leaner then than now. You know, I looked leaner. I just wasn't training shirtless so you guys couldn't see it. 
Uh, so inclined, I managed to, I uh, did the first set with 205, got six, felt like I had a little in the tank, so I'm like, let's go up to 225. You managed to get six, which is okay. It's kind of where it was last time I did this, right, after after one, one workout of practice. So we need to get this, we need to get this back up, right? We, we know that I need to be hitting that 20 pounds heavier for six, right? We know those sets of 10 on the flat bench need to be 10 pounds heavier. All that will translate back over to being back where I was on the bench and getting back on track. Because really, at that 335, I need to be hitting it for five pause reps. All right, of course, threw in my dumbbell rows here as well, obviously. So everything's being hit from a couple angles. That includes the biceps. Uh, some people are going to be like, oh my God, you did two different bicep exercises. Yeah, but it's only four total sets. I already had this stuff loaded, so let's just work with it, you know? That's, that's the way I'm looking at some of that. Let's just get that pump work in at the end, get a good pump, take those sets real close to failure, just knock it out. So skull crushers, these actually felt hard today, right? And this is not the heaviest weight I've ever done, but these sets of 10 were challenging. I think that, uh, you know, that volume benching, especially those two different ankles, does take a lot out of me, okay? But this is a challenging weight, so hey, that's good. It's challenging, that works. All right, we're good to go then. Because these two sets were, were pretty hard to get the 10th rep. They were pretty hard. Especially the second set, because I didn't take a real long break. So I went ahead and loaded these dumbbells, because I know this is about what I can do for 10s, for both curls and laterals. And I'm like, eh, let me just superset some dumbbell curls with this, so it's always the, the skull crusher, then the curl. Right? I, could, I barely got my sets of 10 with these. I think it's because, again, that fifth set of rows total, five sets of rows. I started messing around with a few dead hangs this weekend. I'd love to be able to do pull-ups again, but I realized when I messed around, just when I get pain, try and one rep, the only way I'm going to be able to do them is with an overhand, somewhat wide grip. So, you know, we'll wait on that. I'll just do two types of rows. Maybe I can work those in if they're shoulder safe, but I'm only, I think that's the only angle that's going to work for me. And I noticed it always felt good with the fat bar. It was just different on the shoulder, so I may flip that over. But for now, I'm not gonna worry about that because that's come up with people. I do feel like I, it, it's sometimes not worth the risk. So I'm only gonna do those if they feel good. But I wanna work on a little bit of dead hanging here and there. Um, keep getting that shoulder health back. The dead hangs do help with my ability to put the squat bar where I want it on my back. Uh, I am able to touch okay on the incline, if you guys notice, those were all paused. Um, but you know, I always toy with the idea of pull-ups, but I don't know that I'm going to take that idea serious. So please don't take it too serious when I say that, guys. Rows do really, really well for me. They do really well. And I can do plenty of different types. Alright, so after that, because I had done two sets of skull crushers, two sets of dumbbell curls, I'm like, let's do some laterals with the same weight. They were a fight to get tens, though. Uh, they really were. That's 48 pound dumbbells. And then I took that same weight that I did skull crushers. I'm like, let me do some curls because those felt good the other day. When I did those a little lighter, and granted, I hit some really high reps. They felt, I felt a really good bicep pump. So I'm like, did the dumbbells and I'll do the easy bar. You know, let's just go ahead and do both. Two sets of each hit a couple different angles, right? So chest got worked a couple angles. Delts really only got one, but we got inclined and rose in, you know. All right, my delts have a, have a pretty dang good pump there, looks like. Got a good pump going. Uh, so I'm like, well, let me just do these sets pretty much to failure. The, la the, the second set, I kind of set it down and picked it back up and squeezed out one more rep. I'm like, oh, I just want to get a little more. We can get away with that sort of stuff on a smaller movement. Don't try to do that on your bench pressing or your squats. Don't do it, guys. Um, but yeah, definitely noticing at least my, my upper chest and everything is looking pretty lean. Uh, and I feel like if I go back to eating all the fruit, I'm just going to get leaner and leaner, but I'll probably get stronger. I just feel like I get better muscle hydration, better recovery. My work, we, we saw this difference in the strength. I was stronger. Okay. And that part's undeniable. And it's not like uh, there's been some major supplementation change or big change in body weight about the same body weight you know give or take a pound 
So I'm uh, just going to move forward with it, get the diet sorted back out, keep doing, fo focusing on the incline, and I'm going to keep doing some extra arm work and stuff. So I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.